Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Christina. Thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Um, happy Chinese New Year, I believe. Um, I believe it was two weeks ago. I haven't been on in a, in a minute, but a lot of good things happened. So, happy Chinese New Year. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, should every day be Valentine's Day? I mean, every day should be love, you know. Um, Self-love, you know. Not the foo-foo love, but the real love, you know. Self-love. Take care of you, please. Um, eat right. Eat healthy. How Take care of your relationships. I guess, you know, I guess since I just spoke about Valentine's Day, let me just talk about your relationships. Um, you know, for you guys that are in... Okay, I wasn't going to go there, but it just came to my mind. So, a lot of us may not know that we are building you know we're building the universe we're building the structure of the universe based on the amount of knowledge that you know based on the amount of esoteric knowledge that you know based on the amount of knowledge you're willing to know based on how deep you're willing to go based on how much you believe in yourself just based on so it's based on you okay so your guardians are going to you are a guardian yes your guardians step down through you yes real guardians they are not religious at all we are not talking about handlers, okay? We are talking about your guardians. <laughs> they are quite two different things. Uh, and as you know, on my channel, um, we talk about religion a lot. We talk about the cabal. Well, I haven't talked about the cabal yet, but I will be talking about the cabal. So um, anti-great anti tree of life, cabal, the sheriff, and the clip off. So, and then these are the structures that are here, nothing to do with you. So some of the challenges that you might be facing or some of the issues that you think you're facing, um, these are just structures that are just in a planetary body. The cabal is just a part of ascension, whether or not anybody is teaching this, but um, Lisa Renee is definitely teaching this. So definitely check out Lisa Renee on Ascension Glossary. She's teaching this. It's on, the, it's all over, honestly, it really is. Um, if you're willing to know the truth, it's there, you know? It is what it is. So, like I said, we are building our trees. I am a tree, you're a tree. So we have the clip off, we have the share off, and we have the cabal. And so these things are really not organic to us in a way. They're really not organic to us at all. Um, so that being said, um, your relationships. So as I was saying, your relationships, you might be having friction in your relationships, okay? Have nothing to do with you. You have a whole bunch of technology. Um, you know, religion has really coined the word Jesus Christ, but Christ is just really us awakening. You know how we awaken in the technology within us. We are electrical beings. What the what does that mean? We get charged. Okay, we are electrical beings. We charge somewhere. We are magnetic beings. Okay, we are magnetic beings. So what does that mean? We magnetize, we we magnetize, we attract. Um, or we, we repel or they manipulate our electrical field or they manipulate our magnetic field. This is how they manipulate the weather. Um, yes, they manipulate. Of course, we all know they manipulate the weather. Half of us are not even really connected to true God source energy because we're still on this. Um, we're still on this false paradigm with the cabal and with these alien gods and with these foreign things that are so not really true to us. Hence, we have a lot of illnesses because we're not connected to natural energy um we're not connected to source we are not connected to those healing energies we're not really connected to the crystals that are in the earth you know the earth's core has energy that really is supposed to vitalize us and really supposed to um help us and heal us I and mean, it's really for us um but instead they use those things and they power up their religious power plant. If you understand the world, I work at a power plant. So if you can understand and if you can see the world and energy like a power plant and understand that they, you have a source of energy, you are like a power plant. And if you don't know that your power plant is basically ran <laughs> by all of these other things and you really don't know, you know, you're addicted to all kinds of food. Mm hmm. You like I've been here and like I be going I'm I'm driving around McDonald's and I'm like, Oh you want McDonald's? I don't want a McDonald's. 
Uh, I'm, I'm like, but I can hear because my hearing is very clearly like I can hear stuff. So I can hear what's going on. But I could just hear this, you know, I could just hear the electric magnetic harassment that's electric magnetic harassment because we are electrical beings and we don't know that and so we don't really know how to engage with these electrical techniques um a lot of us haven't really been taught and that's completely fine and that is what that is um a lot of us are still not awakened you know a lot of us are, i'm still trying you know it's it's hard for me it's difficult for me because for me to be talking to you as an african-american woman or as a culture colored woman i mean we're really all of the tribes really we're really not color i really hate to use the word color but just as an analytical person i'm very analytical and i can understand how the concept of color can help us to identify certain things because i'm actually glad that i brought the thing of color up because i was actually at work today and um i was saying to myself i'm very glad that i got my degree because I'm sure that for my position that I that I am in as a colored woman, I do not like saying that, but just for the purposes of relating to humanity, sympathizing but not accepting. I'm sympathizing but I'm not accepting. Um, I'm sure that there are a lot of people, for one, that, that does not want me to have that position. Okay, and. Because I'm sure a lot of other races do feel entitled to my position. I'm sure that a lot of races, hence I really wanted to come on and tell people to pursue their dreams and to get your degree. Okay, because I have to, sometimes I have to turn people away because they don't have degrees and it really does make a difference. Um, and it really does even out the playing field. So um, it really does heal a lot of things too energetically. You know, it really does. We don't really think of our career and we don't really think of our 3D life as important. It's all connected. As a matter of fact, it is one. Okay, it is one. There's really no difference between your 3D and your spirit. There really isn't. What I can even tell where people are by their 3D life. I can tell what programs they're running. I can tell what's going on in their life by the quality of life that they have by the availability of resources or the lack of resources that they have. Hence, I'm really encouraging people to get their degree, um, really stay focused. This is not really the age for us to be lazy, you know, especially if you are a minority. I really hate these terminologies because we're really beyond that. We're so much deeper. We're really more tribes, you know. Um, we're really tribes. We just, we're all african i mean all of us are you know we are all every last one of us are african whether or not we all want to believe it but we really all are you know so um i really hate to really say oh um people say i'm not african or i'm indian or i'm, I'm really everything okay we're really everything um yes we re we connect more to one than the other but we really are and more than that we really are angelic beings we really are star beings we really are earth children earth seeds a lot of people don't talk about earth seeds but these are the things that we are and it's all one okay it's all one because it's all one you know um get your degree get your education do what you have to do to make yourself happy to fulfill your dreams do not allow family to come in between you do not allow do not i mean you have to you know you have to kind of be very disciplined because we're not really taught these things we're really taught to really you know go with the status quo go with our feelings we're always going with our feelings so if you're always going with your feelings and you don't know you're an electrical being you're going to be hearing temptation or you're going to be hearing influences and guess what we have planetary influences that don't have anything to do with us and it's going to influence you one way or the other so if you're just going by your feelings you're really not going to get anywhere ascension is really about learning okay it's really about learning it's not really about your feelings because they can always play with your feelings but you should not also ignore your feelings as you really have to kind of be balanced um, in the way that you choose to receive information and to choose in the way that you choose to live your life, you have to be very strategic. I I know I've been saying that I don't want to call us technology because it sounds 
kind of harsh, but we are. And you kind of have to be very strategic in life. A lot of people think that, oh, you're a, you're a star seed or you're a light worker or you're this and you can't be strategic and you can't be. Why would you not be strategic? I mean, if we're star seeds and there are forces of darkness, why? And you don't think that these forces of darkness are strategic? You kind of have to play. The, I've been saying you have to play. You have to kind of play. You know, I mean, we're in a strict warfare. We're in a ascension is warfare period ascension is warfare i go through warfare for knowledge you know i go through warfare for knowledge okay um every time i get or i'm about to learn something new or something i'm about to see something or something th some download is going to come to me um i go through hella warfare you kind of feel like you're going to die so basically that's what that's what that is and you know um it is what it is, but you have to just be strategic. You can't being a star seed and being a light worker and being all hey, these are not fluffy, fluffy. I feel like everybody wants to be everybody wants to be this way, but that's really like the false. It's false, and so it's going to lead you down a false path, and so your life is going to kind of be false. If I show you my life, my life is exactly how I envisioned it as a child. Honest to goodness, like I even look my hair is the same way my makeup my I'm probably the same way I was as a child so I'm just saying that to say that you kind of have to you're purest when you're a child and so when you're a child you know what you want there's no influences around you nothing is wrong to you and so nothing is stopping you and so when I say that my life really reflects even the way I dress I'm not manufactured. I'm not, I'm clearly not skinny. Um, I'm not manufactured. And I clearly am not bothered, you know. Um, I, I, I just really, I just love myself for the way that I am. And I'm really encouraging people. And lately, like really just, I really want people to be encouraged to be themselves. To be the size you are. Be the shape you are. Have the hair you are. Be who the, who are you, who you are. My makeup I can remember as a child, and a lot of you can possibly relate to going in dad's wardrobe and playing with his watch, um, putting on his watch, putting on his whatever, putting on his suit, putting on his watch, putting on his whatever. A lot of you possibly can, and I can definitely relate to that as well. Going in my, you know, going in one of my elders room and putting on all of their makeup and putting on their heels and it's really no different I mean now I pay for my own stuff now I have my own job now I have my own jobs now I have my own everything <laughs> now I have my own everything you know so um now I have my own everything it's the same thing I can honestly say that who I who I that energy that I have was very pure and very innocent and I followed it and I am exactly who the way I am I'm not manufactured um it wasn't influenced. The way that I look is not influenced by anyone. This is the way that I look. Um, a lot of people manufacture this look. And so people get confused with, or people accuse you. They don't know you. Uh, who cares anyway? I mean, I don't really care. Um, but, you know, people accuse you or people try to replicate you or duplicate you or are jealous or things of this nature way because you look like this and this is what the... the this is what technology can do now. This is what surgery can do now. Plastic surgery can do cosmic, um, lots of makeup, you know, lots. I mean, tons of makeup. Um, I've never really been, and I don't really care. I don't really care. I'm not here to, to really judge you. What I'm saying is I'm not manufactured. I'm very much more connected to myself than, you know, I'm just very connected to myself and I do what is true to me. This is who I am. I'm saying that to say this because you see a lot of people. I don't really always want to talk about Hollywood, but it goes back there. Because a lot of people in Hollywood are not born like this. You know, they're not born a certain way and then they get manufactured. And so it's really difficult to tell the real from the fake. And so this is why I'm bringing these things up. Be who you are. You know, be who you are. Love that people hate it. Love that people talk about you. Love it. I mean, just love it. Be who you are. I mean, I'm really encouraging you to pursue your dreams. Get your education if you can. If you're in trade school, get it. And trust me. Trust me. It makes a difference.
it makes a difference. You have to be strategic in life. I mean, you really do. If we are dealing with Illuminati bloodlines, we are. We're dealing with the Illuminati bloodlines. Okay, we're talking about you having mega dreams. And we have forces of darkness. We are light workers. We're star seeds. We're earth seeds. We're, we're this, we're that. Um, we have the Illuminati bloodlines. We have the Luciferian bloodlines. <laughs> These are bloodlines that still exist. So they channel those energies from way back when, when those people used to rule and, and they still rule at the very top, to be honest with you. They still kind of rule at the very top. And so if you understand that they rule at the top, this is a strategy that they use. You kind of have to have your own strategy because if we just kind of keep allowing them to rule at the top, it's going to always create a social class. They're always going to be the, um, they're always, it's always going to create a imbalance financially. And if I tell you that finances is all about power, and when I say power, I mean forces, it is kind of like that. When you look at these celebrities, they really don't have substance anymore. A lot of them don't really have substance. You, they don't really have any light, is what I mean. They're really empty um, vessels. They're not. They're really empty vessels. And what they do is they've been purchased. You know, <laughs> they've been purchased. So they don't really even own anything. To be perfectly honest with you, because then when they're, you know, when these owners are done with them if you will you see what happens to them all the time the story is over you know they recycle them over and over they recycle the plan over and over and over again you know they go from one tragedy to one tragedy to one tragedy whether we know it or not but they go from tragedy tragedy to tragedy to tragedy so that being said if we understand what is going on in the world and we understand that money is about power and money is about energy and money is about substance you have to understand that when you're dealing with money, it's not anything personal. You can have as much money as you want. You can make as much money as you want. And am I wrong? But no, I'm not. Because you know what? A lot of people get money by using necromancy, sorcery, um, black magic, voodoo, um, Santa Maria. That's what they use. So should we not be strategic in what we do and how we uh, how we talk to our guardians and let our guardians, um, yeah, manipulate our energy so that we can get what we yeah. You know you have to be strategic. I mean your guardians are not idiots. You know these are these are real guardians. These are not these religious guardians who tell you that you should not have, get what you want in life and you should be false, humble, and Putting others before yourself and being poor is good lies. <laughs> being poor is good. Every you know, no. Your guardians are gonna expose to you how do you get money? What amount of money do you wanna make? Um, what are you good at? You know, they're going to be supporting you. Okay, they're going to be support, they're gonna to reveal to you what you need to do and you know what yeah black magic is everywhere it's in it's gonna because it's here in the planet it's a it's a planetary problem it's not it's a galactic problem it's a planetary problem it's a it's a galactic universal problem black magic is a universal problem it's not a personal problem so you might experience it everywhere you go um and that's okay i experience it everywhere i go because it's here it's a living breathing force it is very much here the more you normalize it, the less it can really affect you. The more you understand it is just a technology or it is just another element like the air that we're breathing. It is just another element. It is, that's it. It really has no bearing and it really has no power. And I feel like a lot of people just inflate it, you know. So then these black witches and then these black magicians and then all of these voodoo workers and hoodoo workers and root workers and spellcasters and necromancers and blah, 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 blah. the list goes on and on they think that they're so powerful because we keep saying that narrative that's the narrative that we keep playing but when you understand and yeah they do control the government if i tell you that black witches and black magicians do are i mean we know i mean honestly like we know i've been seeing presidents honestly like i've been seeing presidents and I'm like, I knew I didn't like you for a reason, but I didn't know that it was that reason. But you know, when these downloads come to you, you don't 
you don't know when they're going to come and how they're going to come. But, yeah. You know, we know the government is ran by these refugee ET races and these shadow government races. You know, it's ran by them. And you know what the shadow government is. Bunch of rich witches and black magicians. And they really... It is what it is. A lot of us don't even know that we're being affected by it. A lot of us are so numb. A lot of us are so sleeping and so dead that we think that, oh, we have so much bad luck. Oh, everything is bad for me. Oh, every no. Everything is not bad for you, dear. You're sensing something that you do have power over. You could just be like, okay, I, I know that you're here in this building, but I'm not going to allow you to overpower me or I'm going to command you. You know, you kind of have to command your spaces and stuff like that. And that leads me to another thing, you know. A lot of us don't do energy work. A lot of us don't do clearing. A lot of us are not taught that, you know, opening a vortex is, you know, we think opening vortexes are bad. We think, so much I have to talk about. We think opening vortexes are bad. We think going through portals are bad. We think everything is bad. Yes, there are dark portals. Yes, there are beings that try to open and manipulate portals on our body. But yes, there are also good portals that give you information. And there are also, um vortexes that spin energy into your body and give you light you know so energy work vortex work dimensional work trans-dimensional work these are things that we need to normalize you know it's okay um it's supposed to be normal for you to open a vortex and spin some negative energy out because guess what they open vortexes and spin the negative energy in all the damn time <laughs> that's why you walk in places and you're like Ugh. You got to open a vortex and clear that thing out. It's not anything related to you, but, you know, these are just things that you have, we have to really normalize these things. We're not really taught how to take care of ourselves. We taught that we need a savior. We're being, now, you know, a lot of teachers are coming forth to teach you how to handle things, you know, to really be, you praying to God. No, you have the power to do. You don't call on any false, you don't know who the hell you're calling on. What do you, you know? You don't know what the hell these people... You don't know who this is. Why are you calling on that person? Do things yourself. You have to learn how to be... You know, have to learn how to be you. You know, you are... You were born you before reason. You, you have all of the tools that you need. So, um... That being said... Yeah, so talk now. I, yeah, I was talking about energy. I wanted to talk about dead people because I was... In my car and I was like... People be thinking they're hearing shit and it's dead. It's not like my dad. My dad spoiled me. I mean, you couldn't touch me. I mean, he probably treated me like a princess sometimes. But he also treated me like a grown woman. Like, sometimes he would talk to me as a child, like, from his friend. You know, like, we had an amazing relationship. We had an amazing relationship. Amazing. I mean, we really did. Like, nothing, nothing happened to me. I was not stifled. I mean, this man was amazing. I mean, honestly, like, he was just an amazing dad. Like, I was free to do whatever. Like, he never criticized me. I was never a, even though he was older than me, I was always an equal. He is such an amazing person. So why am I saying this? Because he's passed away now. Okay? And so he's passed away now. He's on the other side doing his thing, you know, but in the flesh, he's not here anymore. But I digress. He visits me from time to time. We were like best friends when he was alive. I'm telling you the story for a reason. We were like best friends for a while he was here. We never, we had one argument. And he apologized to me. I let him know and he apologized to me. That's how real of a person he is. He's, that's how sincere of a person he is. He is very strong. Like he's very strong, but he's very loved. You know, he's balanced. He was very balanced. I say that to say people think that their house is haunted. People think that the dead, the dead people are stalking. People think all of these things about the dead people, but there's no such thing. There, there really is not. There are. This is, goes back to what I was talking about in the beginning, about the Sheroff, the Clifford, and the Cabal. Those elements are structures in the planetary body that we are the planetary body that are structured and manufactured with technology to produce these elements and these forces. It is not your loved ones, okay? They are not harming us. There's no ghost. There's no paranormal shit. There's none of that nonsense. These are structures 
and technology that is built into the, um, this is why we have to do grid work, that are built into the planetary body to manufacture and generate these types of energies. This is why you have to open vortexes and clear it out because you have a structure and a technology already here. We have technology and structures all over that are invisible. Sometimes I can see the technology. Sometimes I can literally see the machine that is making the false appear real and the real appear false. I can sometimes see it depending on, you know, how how centered I am or how free I am at the main and when I say free I mean available. So that being said, um, there are many reasons why we have to learn things because the planetary and the universe, the galactic realm, the realms are all technology, technologically built. We are a technological world, whether or not we believe it or not. This is a tech, spirituality's technology. We are electrical. We are technology. That's the, that's what Christ means, technology, inner technology, inner technology to open a vortex, inner technology to transmit, inner technology to charge yourself, inner technology to sustain your own energy, inner technology to create energy, inner technology, okay? Um, and our inner technology interacts with the technology that is here in the planetary field. Um, it was a lot. But if you have any questions, I'm available. I am a coach. So you can always donate to my channel, subscribe, comment, talk. You can always, you know, get together on here. It's a safe space. I've called on my party. You know, I've called on my team. Well, do I work with them all day? I work with them all day because I work in a very lucrative company. So I kind of need them all day <laughs> because I'm kind of, you know, I'm a light worker. I can get things done. I can actually make a difference at my company and I work at a lucrative company. See how the two worlds always collide? Your financial life always, your material life always relates to your spiritual life. Spirituality is technology. So that being said, that's the message I have for you guys today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.